Hello and welcome to UPL Insights, a digital media series from UPL, led by our friends, colleagues and experts across the world. In this series, we bring together leaders in sustainable farming, food systems and climate resilience to explore the challenges and developments defining the agricultural sector today. We are recording this episode as we gear towards this year's AGRF Global Summit, the biggest annual agriculture event for Africa, which is continuing its mission to transform agriculture. This year, the AGRF Summit will be held in Kenya and explore the theme of pathways to recovery and resilient food systems. So as our contribution to the reflection with this podcast series, we are looking at some of the most important trends and projects defining sustainable agricultural agenda, both inside and outside of UPL. So in this episode, we will be looking at how artificial intelligence and biosolutions can be combined to control fall army worms more effectively and more sustainably in African maize fields. Invasive pests like fall army worm cost the African continent more than $3.5 trillion every year, affecting the livelihoods of 600 million farmers. Go Micro technology offers farmers a cheap and effective method through which to identify the larval stages of fall army worm to better counter its spread across the African continent. At UPL, we believe in the power of collaboration and embracing the latest advancements of technology. And we have championed Go Micro's use of artificial intelligence to detect fall army worm. Through the creation of a lab-like imaging conditions in the field, Go Micro is able to achieve over 96% accurate readings in detecting the fall army worm on the field. Polygen is the first biosolution that can effectively control fall army worm at scale. So by combining UPL's Foligen Biosolution and Go Micro's breakthrough AI platform, farmers are now able to accurately identify the best time to apply Foligen across their fields to have the most impact. So I now welcome my two guests for today, Shani Srivastava, UPL Regional Head for East Africa, and Sivam Krish, who is a CEO and founder of Go Micro to better discuss this collaboration and the potential for Go Micro to tip the scales in favor of the farmer with the help of Foligen. So Sivam, welcome to UPL Insights. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit how does Go Micro help the farmer better understand their crops and actually take the right decisions when it comes to dealing with pests like fall army worms? Right. So um, I'm talking to you from Australia and we have a lot of farms here, but every farmer has access to agronomist. So there's a lot of agronomist expertise that helps farmers to identify pest and plant disease. Things are different in Africa. I think the ratio between agronomists and farmers is one is to 13,000. So there's a dire need for bringing expertise, detection expertise to farmers. And we believe we can do that with artificial intelligence and the phone. The phone, as you know, has an awesome camera. The AI happens in the cloud. You combine it with the right imaging device and voila, every farmer can now have amazing quality detection capability, the best capability in the world on every phone for every farmer. So that's what we plan to bring about. So how was this Go Micro application developed? It's the uh, first time I hear a, an AI tool can be made available at such a large scale at such a, a small cost. Right, so it initially started in us trying to identify the fruit fly in South Australia. Fruit fly is the major problem in South Australia. We are a state that is fruit fly free. So this was a pest that we tried to identify and we discovered that by creating a particular lighting condition, we can reduce the number of images that's needed and increase the accuracy. 
So it was a kind of an accidental discovery. Then we found out that farmers really liked this device because it made it possible for them to discuss with experts and find out about pests and plant disease. So that's how it all started. Um, so it works with any phone. It's very easy, it's clip on, and we can make it for a dollar in large quantities. So it makes it possible to give it to everybody who wants it. Fantastic. Uh, one question to Shani now. Um, so we understand with Dr. Sivam that um, this kind of AI technology makes farmers more professional actually, but the use of biosolutions um, does involve some level of change in, in farmer practices. What is exactly the value addition of tools like Go Micro when we talk about integrated pest management? Uh, thank you, Florent. Uh, and I think it came uh, at the right juncture. I think last year, uh, you know, we started uh, doing a lot of large scale testing for Foligen uh, in, in Kenya. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, beginning of this year, I got in touch with, uh, with, with Siva. Uh, you know, the, you know, when we talk about uh, a biopesticide and bio, bio solutions, basically, uh, it's, it, the farmers need a bit of expertise. Actually, it's not like when you go about synthetic, conventional based and synthetic, synthetic uh, chemical, you don't need uh, much of expertise. Uh, and, and I saw Go Micro as a tool to bridge that uh, adoption gap. Because if, you, if you're really looking at a fall army worm and if you really want to control uh, larvae through, through biopesticide, you need to be really early. And early larvae is something which a farmer cannot detect from the eye and, and can say that, okay, it's a very early larvae and L1, L2. And if, if the farmer is able to do that, uh, you know, the, the, the efficacy and, and, the, and the predictability, it really improves, uh, you know, it goes at the level of, of the uh, conventional synthetic. And that's why we, we heard, we, complain that okay it, it doesn't work like a conventional insecticide which you know it gives a very quick knockdown uh, so yeah that's that's where you know go micro tool came and and then we and uh, Shivam started collaborating on that and and then we we did some testing this year large scale testing and and and, and both both together works really great so we we are able to identify the small larvae and then we are able to go and and spray uh, Bioprocess side, and and then we saw that uh, you know that predictability is is very very high. The control is very high, and it also you know helps farmer uh, a kind of on demand economy. Like you know, you know they you know it's like you know it's the, we are giving them a tool, and we are making them more intelligent. You know, uh, and helping them to make a right decision. That's right. Uh, and it's not always easy uh, for uh, African farmers to adopt uh, such big innovations. H how is UPL working on uh, the adoption uh, and uh, how much engagement have you seen so far on both the Go Micro and, and the Foligen, who are both uh, very major innovations for a, a small scale farmer? Uh, way to, uh, you know, right. I think what we have done uh, this year, our focus is basically this year to do a uh, large scales demonstration. So we are collaborating with Kabi uh, and, and we are focusing uh, on one of the area where we are actually uh, in Kenya, where we are actually trying to do a pilot and, and really going and, and showcasing the farmer uh, with our team of uh, agronomists uh, and doing uh, this, these demonstrations and and giving them the tool in their hand, explaining them, uh, you know, making them uh, these devices available to them, and uh, and asking, you know, like really uh, uh, doing those those demonstrations and trial, basically, uh, and that's where we are focusing right now uh, this year, uh, and it, it has created a, a bit of a, you know, I would say that uh, you know the area where we have done the trials, uh, we see a lot of excitement there, uh, and and you know. We see that uh, you know we when we are actually going uh, next year uh, with with a full scale commercialization, I think uh, you know uh, it, it it we can we can uh, we will have a, a a kind of a big success out there uh, with with a small scale uh, growers uh, here. Great, best of luck with that. Um, so Sivam, uh, we we understand that 
artificial intelligence can be a great decision support tool for uh, the small scale farmers, which is quite unexpected. So can you tell us how do we build uh, an artificial intelligence tool that, like this that is affordable and, and accessible for uh, smallholder farmers with limited resources? Okay, so that's a very good question. So look, I think typically when you talk about artificial intelligence, you're talking you know, $100,000, $200,000, and you need thousands and thousands of images. Now, this is where we make a difference. If you just need 100 images, that's easy because it can be built locally. So we can work with agronomists, with universities to build the AI engine locally so people who build it have the confidence to demonstrate it and try it out. That's one thing. The second thing is that we can fine grain the AI engine. So the, the fall armyworm detection engine we built for Kenya does not work in India. In India, we have to have a category of fall other worms that are different. So by fine and, and for different crops, it's the colors are sometimes different. So we can build very customized, very focused AI detection engines, which is what gives us a precision. And the other thing, uh, don't forget, this is a micro, this is a magnifier. So you get, you can detect very small insects that are difficult to see by eye. You can also take photographs and share information. So the clever stuff, the investment is already made. The camera and the, the phone is an investment, right? We're just unlocking all, everything that's need for AI is already there. And that's why, we are able to make it affordable because they've already made the investment. We are just enabling the investment they've already made to connect to the cloud, the internet connection is there and to deliver amazingly accurate results. So that is why we are able to do this and we are able to make it affordable for everyone. That's great. So, so what are your plans for the future for, for scaling this type of technology and, and especially uh, for the African continent? Right, we would like every farmer in the world to have one, particularly those who need expertise. And to do this is not easy, it's difficult. And we have to do this with partners, partners like UPL who understand that AI is going to have a big role in agriculture, uh, partners who are willing to put in the effort and time, partners who are willing to collaborate so it is only by collaboration and partnerships we can make this happen. So we will develop this as a project with multiple partners, perhaps with some NGOs as well, make it affordable, get millions of farmers to use it and gain trust because end of the day, farmers have to trust this. And I believe they will. Thank you, Sivam. Shani, what are your plans uh, with UPL in Kenya and East Africa to facilitate the adoption and accessibility of uh, this technology alongside with the launch of biosolutions like Polygen? Well, uh, Florian, and we, I think we are very excited. Uh, and this, this year, like uh, Shivam said, that uh, this kind of a technology, uh, I think it needs a lot of collaborations. Uh, uh, and I believe that like, as we go, our, our open act philosophy uh, uh, you know, that power of collaborations. And, and what we are trying to do here is uh, uh, giving a farmer a, a, a kind of a, a bigger, uh, you know, a superior value propositions. Uh, like you were also mentioning that, uh, you know, how many uh, livelihood of the farmer, like FAW can have a big impact uh, on the livelihood. And it's something which, uh, you know, we, we, think, we take it like epidemic, a next kind of epidemic. So how do we really, uh, stop that how do we really uh, you know foster the collaborations uh, among various partner uh, and bring them on the on the on the platform so i think we had been able to do this uh, this this very successfully this year so uh, you know like the first about you know that integrating of this two technology go micro and and the polygen and and what we did that uh, we tested the technology and it works really really fine i think the it's 100% something which can work and can help farmer. Uh, so first thing we did that, then uh, we, we are collaborating, like, like I said that uh, Kabi is with us, uh, you know, which they have a, a lot of you know, insight uh, on, on uh, local insight. 
uh, and which can help us to, to really take the technology to the farmer. Then we also have our Agra. Agra is also partnering with, uh, with us in this technology where you know, their, with their BBS, we can, we can actually uh, you know, uh, you know, test, demonstrate, uh, demonstrate this technology to the, to the, to the wider scale. And, uh, and I think uh, what we are looking at in the short term that really, really want to be successful with this, this whole technology in, in Kenya uh, in, 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 the, in the coming season, and then moving to Uganda and, and Tanzania. Uh, and I think really scaling up the te technology to, to the East Africa. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's our plans are. Great. Thank you so much, Shani and Sivan, for being our guests today and sharing some of the most exciting developments in the agriculture sector in Africa. You can subscribe to UPL channel on YouTube and follow the full UPL Insight series also on Spotify and Apple Music. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.